Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about evaluating our retirement and how well we are at saving for retirement. And that's a very big question that we have, um, as, especially as we get older, is am I saving enough or am I investing enough, uh, especially considering that retirement is obviously getting closer by the year. Uh, and so in order to answer that question, we're going to utilize what we call the investment assets to total assets ratio as a gauge for whether or not we are making progress towards our financial future. Um, so what I have here on the right hand side is a mock balance sheet. Uh, if you've watched a prior video in the series, uh, we actually use this for the purpose of evaluating our personal balance sheet, where we're gonna be using the information uh, to kind of help us uh, with this uh, investment assets question to see if we are saving enough for retirement. So the, the basic way to calculate this uh, is we're going to take our investment assets and we're going to divide that by our total assets. And this is a very simple calculation, uh, so you'll certainly want to do maybe some more complicated uh, types of financial uh, equations to uh, determine whether or not uh, you're on track for retirement, such as the future value of an annuity question, uh, which we solve in a different video. Um, but a basic way of determining whether or not we're making progress towards our financial future is calculating this particular equation, which is the investment assets to total assets ratio. So for starters, we're going to go ahead and find the variables that we need. Um, so we have investment assets here of 186000 rather, $500. So I'm going to go ahead and write that here. And our total assets, as you can see one line below, is the 420,000, 23,000 rather, $200. So if you divide 186,500 by 423,200, we get a financial ratio of 0.4406 or if we convert it into a percentage, is going to be in excess of 44%. Now, the first question you probably have is, what does this actually mean? Like, is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Uh, well, there's some general gauges that you can use uh, to kind of get a, an idea of what is good and what is bad. Um, so generally speaking, according to most financial advisors, uh, 10 or above is considered to be good if you're in your 20s, right? So clearly at 44, uh, we're in excess of that, right? Now, uh, moving on from that though, uh, in a score of roughly 11 to 30 uh, is generally good for people that are in their 30s. And then a score of 31 or above is uh, generally appropriate once you're in your 40s and over. Uh, so that's kind of a good gauge to see whether or not this is appropriate. So as you can see, at 44%, regardless of the age bracket that we're in, this is considered to be healthy. Uh, now, if you were a ratio of, let's say, uh, let, let's say 25%, uh, if you were in your 20s, that would be great. But if you're in your 30s, then there's a little bit of catching up, right, that you would need to do. Um, so this can be a pretty helpful way just to evaluate progress. Obviously, it's not the end-all, be-all. Um, so, you know, depending upon what your ratio is, um, obviously, I wouldn't be overly concerned um, for a number of different reasons, uh, one of which is this total asset figure um, is obviously the denominator. So if you only had, you know, like $10,000 in total assets and 4,000 of those were investments, technically you'd have an investment asset to total asset ratio of 40%. Um, but having $4,000 is obviously not going to help you retire uh, if you're in your 50s or 60s. Um, so it obviously has its flaws. Um, there are other things that I would use to further evaluate retirement readiness, um, but it's a pretty good gauge, at least looking at your balance sheet and kind of determining where you fit in uh, to those three categories. 